hey everybody this is melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me crafty scrapper here on youtube and instagram uh today i want to bring you what is in the september e-club kit and i'm very excited about this kit this has got some really really neat stuff in it and it's not your traditional card making kit it's not a traditional journal making kit it's just it gives you enough product to make some really really cute stuff and i have been sharing my e-club kits for months now and my projects that i make with them and y'all seem to really like it so uh, this kit has become a uh, favorite on my channel when I share it. So I enjoy that and I enjoy sharing it with you. Um, this has, now I got a couple of extra uh, coffee dyed papers just because we had messed up a few and those had some really bad tears in them. So I kept those, but each kit comes with Miss Betty's custom design on Etsy. Miss Betty's cute as a bug digital sheet. So you get two digital sheets from Miss Betty. That's something that is just exclusive for scrapbooking with me that Betty does. It's not on her um, Etsy shop as of currently. Then you get two hand dyed coffee stained pages two pieces of cardstock i think everybody got the sea foamy looking green and solid licorice black then you get two four sheets of music paper and then two craft colored envelopes um, washi tape. Now, everybody didn't get this, uh, gingham washi tape. Some people got other washi tapes, but they all match your paper collection. And I got the buffalo plaid in my kit. And then, uh, a tube of liquid pearls. Now, you either got, uh, black or some other shade, like a gold or a champagne or something that matches this kit, this paper pad. Then you got a little glassine bag that has some more die cuts in it because we got the digital sheets, you know. So those are die cuts that you're just gonna fussy cut out. So you got some die cuts in your little glassine bag and sequins and it matches your paper pad also i can see shaker pockets in my future with those and then this month's paper pad is called marigold from crate paper we hadn't went with crate paper in a long time um a lot of their stuff is like kitty looking this was the first one from Crate Paper in a while that wasn't so kiddish. And I think it was because they went with Maggie Holmes. I love her stuff. Now, this does have some bows in it. And it's got some really bubblegum pink color throughout it. But I think it is distributed enough. Look at that gold foil. Throughout the... See, you've got some bubblegum pink in there but it's not so overpowering that it takes away from the gorgeousness that is this um, paper pad and this kit. Those little ducks, too cute. So that is a, look at that. I must have flowers always and always. <laughs> that gold foil is just crazy pretty. Look at the churches and the houses, the schoolhouse on that page and then did you see like that's those old typewriter keys with the gold foil bees more gold foil i think that's what drew us into this this paper collection is the gold foil that it had in it um did you see in betty's 
digitals. She did bees throughout too on there. And then on the little tag, she put B for Brandon, E for Edith, M for Melina, uh, W for Wit. That's my dad. Everybody in the uh, shop got a little initial on that tag. And then, I mean, her little bees that she has throughout are just too cute. I love those. So, that is the September kit and e-club kit. And I am wanting to share with you what I want to make this month with this kit. I'm going to start with the envelopes. And I am going to do something a little different than what I would normally do. I'm going to fold both of my envelopes. Now, I'm going to get my grid paper down here so I can give you some measurements. These envelopes that I got, and most everybody should have the same size envelopes. These envelopes I have measure almost eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. No, five and three quarters. So almost eight and three quarters. I might have said quarter, sorry. Eight and three quarters. So almost nine inches by five and three fourths. And I am going to fold them in half. And I think I'm going to get, because they're a little thicker, I'm going to get my scoring tool out. And I want to fold them in half. So I'm just going to give myself a little nudge of where half is. And I'm just going to go with the four and a quarter line and see how closely that gets us to half there. See that top is really thick and just trying to fold it over myself was not working a few minutes ago. So I wanted to make sure that I could help myself out. Okay. And we will eventually probably cut a little notch out there. So four and a quarter. Y'all know how I like my mini stuff, my mini albums and mini journals and things like that. And I made last month out of the e-club kit a mini journal out of that six by six paper that we got last month. And that has been a very popular video. I just think once I brought out the whole idea of, yeah, you can actually make a whole journal out of six by six paper. People were like, oh, that's crazy. Let me do that. So they really liked that one. Okay, so I would say if you have a better paper trimmer than I, I mean, a paper um, score pal than I do, that you need to go over to the one, two, three, uh, notch right past four and a quarter because if you can tell my line there, I'm over it. But anyway, fold your envelopes in half and then use your bone folder to get the crease that you need. That should have been what I'd just done in the first place, huh? Not even used my score pal. Since my score pal doesn't have all the score lines that I wish it had. Okay. Not looking for perfection, so it's all right. This one is going to be my front and it's gonna open up. We're gonna notch this somehow so we don't have all that there. And um, we'll decorate on the insides and these will be um, pockets on the inside. So we'll probably need to go ahead and cut the top of that right down the line and then give myself a little 
notch. So I've just cut that and then I am going to just give myself the tiniest of little V knots there. And then come over and do the same thing on that side. So I've got myself a little notch there. And then that has two openings for pockets and I'll eventually need to trim those two. So when you're closing it, you're not getting that resistance. So I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to go straight down and then V notch okay and then come over on the other side and V notch there I guess you could U notch if you wanted to if you're that oh yeah so see you've got kind of like a diamond shape when you open it up if you're that um, talented you could U notch and get yourself a nicer little, but I'm okay with that. All right, so this is going to be our front and then open it up. We've got two pockets. Um, we could even probably put a little signature there if we wanted to, but I'm just making this like mini album-ish. And then we will put something on the back here and we're gonna have fabric um, binding. So it's going to be kind of accordion-like, and we're going to make panels for inside. And let's see. So these are now four and a half-ish wide by five and three-fourths tall. So I'm going to make panels that are four inches wide by five and a half tall. So with this six by eight paper pad, we can get that accomplished very well. And then with our card stock that also comes in the kit, we can get that accomplished very well. So I think what I will do is start by trimming a few pieces of this card stock as bases for our inside pages that are gonna go back behind this in an accordion style. And then we'll have this as the back. So two pockets on front and back that open up. And you could even decorate and put pockets on the insides of this. So like an accordion mini album folio. I'm gonna write that down because that's that might be what I call this. Accordion. <laughs> Accordion mini album folio. All right. You know, when I get an idea, I got to write it down. All right, so I said five and a half. Okay, so that gives me half of my sheet there. And then four. So five and a half by four. And um, let's see, we're gonna have just a tiny bit left over on this last one. Because if you were to use the whole sheet, it would have been four and a quarter. Okay, so you get four panels out of that. And let me show you just how I'm planning on this going. So like on the back side of this, we could put one of these panels and decorate that up or leave space for photos or whatever. And we're gonna have fabric, just thin fabric back behind here to use as our binding. And then it will fold over to the next panel like so. And then the fabric will be accordion folded back and forth and back and forth until we have as many panels as we want and then we will decorate fronts backs and then i'll show you how the fabric 
is going to work. And as far as I know, that will be the only thing that I use in this that is not um, in the kit. It's fabric. And it's just regular old poly cotton fabric that I've splattered some distress inks on. Here is a picture of that that I shared on Instagram. And so that is going to be our binding. It's three and a half inches wide. So, you know, it'll be about so on the panels going back and forth accordion style. But I will be right back and show you some of the completed panels that we've made. Um, it's like having journaling cards in between your uh, covers. And um, I'll let you see my progress throughout. All right, we are back and all refreshed. Oh, look, new nails. <laughs> no more Band-Aids on my nails. Uh, um, I um, recorded the first half of this video uh, this morning. And now here it is this evening, almost bedtime. And um, I wanted to show you the progress that I have gotten on this. So here are those envelopes that we folded in half. I went ahead and did um, a little snip snip on either side of those and then rounded the corners with my uh, fourth inch round on the uh, corner chomper. And then I put um, a piece, a mat on the front and back and then a mat on the front and back of the back one and did the same thing, little snip snip there. So our covers are covered. <laughs> our two covers are covered. Um, we've still got to do decorating on the inside where our pockets will be. And we'll be decorating here, here, the flaps and the inside flaps. I'll probably leave that as is, but we'll decorate the inside flaps too. And then I've also got my inside panels that will um, serve as either journaling space when we get through decorating, because we're not done decorating. I've just put on the basics um, to show you here. And um, these are double-sided. They are all that um, measurement that I gave you before. So it is five and a half by four. Each little inside panel, five and a half tall by four. And then here is our material that we're going to be um, doing the accordion binding with. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But we have it double-sided here, two panels, and I've just got them paper clipped just to keep them together as far as which one I want to go with which. When you open it up, it will open up like this, and then you will attach the next accordion panel, or the next panel to the accordion. On the other side, of this, you've got another piece of fabric. So each one of these panels is gonna have two pieces of fabric and they're gonna be fanned out like that, okay? And then the other will go in the middle there and we'll line that one up behind it. And so it'll open up like this, okay? So that's um, how we have it in our head anyway and so we need to get it all put together so what i'm going to do is each panel we're going to put the um, little envelope covers off to the side for a moment and we're going to put the panels together all of the interior panels and they're all going to get fabric on either side of them so that we can go ahead and get that set up so we won't be too confused as far as what our actual idea is <laughs> because 
I mean, if you're used to doing regular old binding and then you decide, hey, I wanna do an accordion style binding so that my booklet opens up and you've got all these panels and you're looking at them and they're all decorated and pretty and you've got pictures and all that. And then you can flip the whole book over and have a whole new set on the other side. But um, when you're trying to think of that just in your head, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and you're like, okay, that makes absolutely no sense. What am I doing here? So let's just go ahead and get all of these panels put together and we can decorate them after we get the fabric in. And even after we get the binding all done, we can decorate them then. I'm thinking maybe I might sew a little bit on some of them. I don't know for sure at this very moment. Uh, maybe at the very end, if I see hmm, it needs a little bit more something, I might sew um, on the edges here, giving it a little bit of a little bit more character. All right, so this is my first little panel. I've got the green cardstock from the uh, kit and then pattern paper from the kit. And I'm gonna put these pieces of fabric off to the side first. And I've already inked all of my panels. So that's already done also. And I'm just using ATG. Um, through here and then one down the middle and then I'll do just and it's going to stick to my nails of course uh, and then I'll do just a little bit of liquid glue nothing heavy I'll try not to be too heavy handed with my liquid glue there alright and then we are going to put on our pieces of fabric too. And I did not tell you, the pieces of fabric, I did tell you the width of them, I mean the height of them. They're three and a half by two. So two inches by three and a half. So if you have fabric at home and you wanna do this, that is the size of my binding for the sides of each of the panels. Okay, and I'm not gonna be too particular exact on this. I'm just putting a little stream of fabric, uh, Fabrifix down the one side. And then I'm just gonna put it on the panel itself too. And Let's see here. That is about a half inch on. I'm just putting it about a half inch onto the panel and trying to get it in the middle a little bit. It does not have to be. I mean, this is not an exact science in my in my book. If you are a Stickler for measuring, go for it, but I'm just not. Y'all know that by now. <laughs> so I'm just putting them on a little willy nilly, just trying to get them somewhat even. And it's not all gonna be exact. Okay, so there and there. And then I'm going to put a little more liquid glue on the back side of this panel since we're going to sandwich it. Just to make sure that everything adheres together well. And just kind of line that up. And then line it up at the top also. And then my bone folder and kind of squish everything together. All right, so you have this double panel, uh, pattern paper, the cardstock from the kit, and then you have fabric sticking out on the edges. And um, if you don't line them up perfectly on the edges, who cares? <laughs> 
you know what? That's what I love about distress inks. <laughs> Just ink it up a little bit more. Covers it all up. Oh, look there. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do that. I have, let's count. I have, excuse me, that bone folder decided to come with me. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven panels. That's a good, beautiful number. Okay, that's fronts of them, backs of them. Most all of the backs are gonna be the cardstock, and then we'll do lots more decorating. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and go right on to the next one. I'll do one more with you, and then we will, you can, if you're making this along with me, you can pause the video and um, do the rest of the fabric binding on yours, and then come back to me when I get to the next part, what we're gonna do. So right now, all we're, figuring out and doing is our binding. Gracious, everything's so sticky. It's sticking to everything. One down the middle, and then glue, liquid glue where there's not any of that. Liquid glue on the back of our other piece of the panel. Okay, and then Fabrifix, if you have Fabri-Tac, that works too. They're made by the same company. Um, I've just found that Fabrifix is at a cheaper price point, and it does everything that Fabri-Tac does except adhere to wood. And I just don't do that many, that much woodworking, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with Fabrifix. All right, you've got that first panel done, and then I've started the second panel, and I've got this side open. And all right, so you've got that first one. This one, this um, side here, this piece of fabric is going to be adhered to that front envelope. This side is going to be attached here to this panel, All right? And I should have held up a whole lot more. Okay, we still got quite a bit left in there. And I'll throw my fabric fix around a little bit. I'm gonna pull it out just a little. I just want to get about a half inch of that fabric in there. And, you know, be smarter than me. And when you um, start to adhere that second panel, wait before you start putting this down <laughs> and put your fabric in there. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're just putting fabric panel, fabric panel, fabric panel, like that so that when you fold it over, and then you have that front cover, see it's gonna go like this, and be attached like this, and here's your accordion starting, okay? Oh, I'm very excited. This is gonna turn out cute. All right, so, you just turn your panels like you want them showing front ways when you start to open up your book. Okay, these two are gonna go together and I need another piece of fabric. Okay, and we're going to put them together like this. Go ahead and get 
my adhesive started. And you use whatever adhesive works for you. Um, I got my handy dandy ATG gun out for the first time in ages, it feels like. Just because I knew that most of this was just going to be cardstock that we were working with. So it would work very well. I put me a line of Fabri Fix down the edge there. And then pull this over. We're wanting to get them lined up pretty well. So everything is kind of even when we open up our book. So I will line up my panels beside each other real quickly in a minute to make sure that everything looks the way it should. All right, and liquid glue on the back of this panel and rub it around and everything else while you're doing that, Melina. Okay, get that off of there. All right, and then I'm going to scooch it over on top of that other panel and make sure that we are pretty much where we need to be and lining up correctly there. Okay, flip it back out. All right, so here we, here we are, we're starting our panels and I am going to go ahead, I think, And it here that onto our front cover here. So I'm going to put my fabric fix down a pretty good little hunk of it and just about half an inch. onto the back cover and I don't have anything that I'm going to sandwich this one with at this very moment but I could go ahead and put a little piece of something something down there couldn't I and just have it out here just a little bit I like that so a little bit of decoration to get us good and covered up on that piece of fabric. Now I know that this is very different of anything else I have pretty much done. Um, I just wanted to try accordion binding. I've never done it before and so I'm not an expert at it and I'm probably not the best teacher at it but I'm just showing you what I'm doing with the e-club kit. All right, I think I want to round these corners. And do that and ink it. And I think I will make it a tuck space also. So I want it here at all down okay I'm going to put fabric fix on my fabric there and then I'm going to put a line of liquid glue just on the three sides not on the side that I want to keep open And then put that down as evenly as possible. Need to go up just a touch, I think. OK, 
okay and get my rag and get off my excess glue here yes we've got good tuck space there good and open all right so here's our accordion started Okay, and then yes, the binding is gonna show on either side of the um, covers and I'm good with that. I'll, I like the shabby look. So I am really, really good with that. And let's get the rest of these panels on here. Okay, next one is this music one. And since you have seen me do these, I'm going to speed this up and if you need to um, pause the video, go for it and um, get all of your panels done with your um, fabric on the edges and then come back to me and I will be at the end about to adhere the back cover on. So that's where we will be when we come back from the sped up version of getting this done. Right, so I have all of my panels connected and I'm on my last one you really probably need <laughs> to let this uh, let all of your adhesive dry on each of the panels before we start really decorating that um, decorating it but um, I do believe I will go ahead and connect this last one. So we have our front cover and then our panels with the um, fabric on either side to make it accordion. So our back 
cover is going to open up the opposite way of our front cover. So that's why I stood this up for you. So see here, this our front one, the one on the left, will open up book part to you. And then the one on the right, which will be your end or your back cover, will open up book part away from you. And then that way, this piece of fabric is going to get adhered to this part of your book. So that way you've got a two-faced book. You can turn it either way and have either one of these as your fronts. Okay, so we are going to line up our two covers and then put on our fabric. We need to hold that down pretty good and I'm going to get my bone folder and just kind of tap, tap, tap that down and then pull it away just a little bit. We don't want to get it too close because we don't want to bulk that up and give it too much tension so it doesn't adhere. All right, and then we're going to put on more Fabrifix on top so we can put down some, some something right there and use as a tuck and let's see I guess I could go with that pink couldn't I? I'm not the hugest <laughs> uh, lover of pink but this little bubblegum pink stuff is kind of growing on me I like it I like it pretty good pretty good so I'm gonna cut about there, my little exact measurement, you know, how I love doing exact measurements. I've got so much on my desk, I can't move around good. All right. Get my little tuck cut here. All right, and round those front corners and ink okay and then I'm going to put glue on my top edge and then just lightly on that back edge, top edge, bottom edge, and lightly on the back edge because it's got Fabrifix that's going to keep it down back there. Okay, and then get your tuck where you want it. And then, because you've got some girth over here, you might want to unfold some of this. So it's not so bulky. There we go. And then get that smooth down pretty good. And your excess glue off. Oh, I still got a panel wanting to stick together. There we go. That's better. All right, so this Fabrifix is going to dry. It might not all dry um, so that you can't see it, but I'll be doing some more decorating. So I think we'll be good there. Definitely need to keep that open and away from everything else so that it doesn't stick together with something else. 
All right, so we turn it back around so I don't confuse anybody because that's our back cover. All right, so you've got your panels in the middle. That's all good and accordioned. All right, and then you've got that front cover that is facing you. And then you've got the back cover that's facing away from you. So you're just keeping it, keeping the accordion going. So V, 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 V. And then you've got your back V there. Okay, so let's let everything dry. And you'll probably need to lay it pretty flat just to make sure that everything can dry properly and not stick to one another. All right, we are back. Everything is dry. And I went ahead and did um, most all of my decorating. Um, I added some pockets on the inside, so you'll see that in a minute. Let's um, start by flipping it open book-wise um, this way. And then when we get to the back, we open it up book-wise the other way and we see totally new panels. So if you open up here, we've got our um, cover, uh, one of the digitals. There's That's another one of the digitals from Betty in the kit. And then just some torn papers from the kit, a couple of die cuts, some fussy cutting. And I added some sequin to the front there. Okay, and then when you open up this envelope, remember our covers are in the envelopes that came in the kit. And then I covered um, here and I put a little pocket here just from one of the cut aparts that's in the paper pad. And then when you open this up, you have, I made these, um, that I covered the in, inside of the envelope with, I made them pockets too. So just glued down on the three sides. And then we have this big pocket here in the envelope too that we can utilize with whatever, journaling or pictures or whatever. Picture storage, that would be awesome in there. Okay, and then when you close that envelope, you have, it opens up to this part of the little book, and there's that tuck that we did earlier. That's one of the little cut-aparts. Ain't that cute? I love that little B cut-apart that came from the paper pad. That's one of the tag cut-aparts that came from the paper pad, and I just made it like a tuck so that um, if you wanted to put a picture or journaling or whatever, you could there. All right. And we're gonna turn this page with our fabric here. Instead of opening it up all the way, just turn it like a page. And I made this a tuck here. And this is just decorative. I put that die cut off to the top just to give it a little interest and so it wouldn't look so flat when it's all closed together. And using that fabric as your turning tab, uh, just decorative there. I made this little um, cut apart a tuck also. And then another one of the digitals I just pasted down. And then this is another digital that I made a tuck there. All right, so that finishes the book that way. We use that tab and this is the back cover and we have that little tuck there, just a piece of the uh, cardstock from the paper pad that I tucked in there. One of the die cuts that I got in my bag. You will get all kinds of die cuts, but nobody gets all the same die cuts. So that's just one of the other die cuts that I had in mine. Open up this cover and you have your envelope, the full size envelope, but you've made two different openings for it. And I have the little tuck spaces, little pockets here. And then you have a full pocket there in the back. And then this is also a little pocket here. Let's get something to put down in there. There's a little pocket there, okay? And then when you open up the book further, the cover, there's that tuck space we made earlier. And one of the cut-aparts I just tucked in there. 
decorative piece of the scrap there using that fabric. There's a tuck there, if I can get my nail in there. There's a tuck there. And then here, I'm gonna get this. This is um, one of the cut aparts. It's a tuck also. And then made a tuck there too. And then this is a little pocket. I used that um, duck paper that's in the paper pad. There's a little pocket there. Just easier for me to poke something into it instead of trying to get my nail into it for whatever reason. And I just put a piece of scrap paper there. And this is one of the digitals that I just pasted all the way down. And then that ends the book that way. And we're back to the front cover again. So if you open up the envelope, there are all of the accordion pieces all the way down to that back cover. And I will pull it down some and go this way so you can see all of them that way. Okay. Okay, there's our front again. Let's go this way so you can see the other sides. Here, so there's the front. There's the other sides of the panels. I mean, this would be a wonderful little explosion gift <laughs> to give someone uh, if they know that you do, you know, handmade books and things and they're expecting a little book that you send them in the mail or something and then all of a sudden everything just starts uh, exploding and accordion accordioning out on them. <laughs> That's just a cute little, cute little thing to make. And I have never made one before. And who knows, some may love this idea and then some may say, what in the world was she thinking when she made this? But I just thought that was cute to use that fabric as the binding and make a little accordion mini album. So it doesn't stand up too well, <laughs> as you can tell, but I just love it. I love how it turned out. And then you can spray it out like that if you want to. Just cute. It's cute. All right, I will have a few little still shots. Um, still shots, though, really just don't um, give it all the credit that it needs because it's got so many panels on it. I just can't get it all in a still shot, but I will have a couple of still shots at the end so you can get some up close detail. But there's front side sprayed out and then here's back side sprayed out. Okay. And then inside of that cover inside of that one, the inside of that cover, and inside of that. There is a lot of eye candy with this project, so <laughs> thank you for sticking around and watching the entire process. And if you have any questions, feel free to um, leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer that for you. Y'all have a great day. God bless. See you in the next video. Bye y'all.